hope your daughter dies. You hope my daughter dies? Yep, I do. I hope your daughter dies. What the f***? Why, why, why would you say that? How does that benefit you? Uh-oh. Where'd you pee? Oh, all there and then all the way to the... Over there. Like I said, cops have a difficult job. Oh. Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. Well, who is he? Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. And what'd he do? And he's gonna react to all the self-snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, your very own personal board-certified criminal defense lawyer. And uh, today we are reacting to the most insufferable traffic stop ever. You know it's Michael Rivers. And also, but before we get to that, this is brought to you by eForms.com. eForms.com. eForms.com is a very effective way to avoid guys like me. For example, I'll tell you this. this is my, my grandmother, you know she's kind of confined to her basement, and she's got this great entrepreneurial idea. She's doing an OnlyFans thing for Bunions. It's only Bunions online. But she, you know, she's got an agreement she has to do with the bank. She's got to do agreement with her partner because her partner's got even worse Bunions than she does. So she has to get these agreements. Guess what? She went to eForms.com, and she got a business agreement done, and now she's making bank. But you can use it for any kind of document. You can use it for a power of attorney. It's just an excellent way to avoid lawyers. It, you know, a rental agreement, a bill of sale. And these are agreements that you need if you're going to do any kind of transaction with another party because it outlines the framework of the deal. And if you don't have that, and if it's just a word, you know, a mouth deal, you don't have the proof that you have a deal. That's why you need eForms.com. So I'm going to tell you something about being pulled over. You know, I don't do a whole lot of traffic stops. So I do some DUI work here and there. I don't do a lot of that. You, most of the stuff I do is kind of higher level felony stuff. But even major felonies sometimes start out as uh, a traffic stop. So if you're driving down the road and the officer says you were weaving or, you know, you had a taillight out or something, and the evidence doesn't really bear that out, well, then you file a motion to suppress that stop. Because if the officer illegally stops you, anything that happens after that is called fruit of the poisonous tree, and they can't use it as evidence. So let's say the officer says I was weaving. Let's just say it's a DWI stop. And he says I was weaving and, and all of a sudden and, and it was on this particular road and this is and, he, and his squad cam doesn't show that and he's just completely lying. You file a motion to dismiss or not to dismiss but file a motion to suppress the evidence and if all of a sudden the judge you know you, you put the evidence on that you question the cop and all of a sudden he doesn't and, and, and if it's an illegal stop then the judge will throw it out. Now, anything that happens after that stop is called fruit of the poisonous tree. They can't use it as evidence. So guess what they have to do? They have to throw out the whole case. That's why when you look at the, you know, the reason for the initial stop, it's a critical stage, and it's the beginning of your analysis. So let's just see what happens here. On August 27, 2023, an officer observed a vehicle traveling at over 90 miles per hour on Interstate 10. Oh, and by the way, this is brought to you by uh, Body Cam Watch. So make sure you go to their channel too. This could be a Hyundai Sonata. Unknown passengers. Driver's side is covered with a blanket. Can't see the subject. So sometimes they'll stop you for like say tint or if you have something hanging from your mirror. Be careful with that. You don't, you don't need to have dark, dark windows unless you're doing some dark, dark shit. <laughs> Let me see your hands, bro. Why, why are your windows covered like that? So, do you remember the scene in uh, Pulp Fiction where they are driving down the road and um, they pop their buddy in the back seat and they, all, they have to uh, make the car look, you know, like it's okay? It's because of that kind of stuff that cops, when they see stuff, and if you don't comply right away, that they their dander gets up because they think that something's afoot. Step out of the vehicle, man. Come outside. 
Come out here with me. See, when you don't comply, cops think, oh, there's a reason you're not complying. And then you're not complying because there's a gun in the car or there's drugs in the car or you're about to get violent. That's a nice Joey, man. Driver, let me see your hands. Trevor, can you hand to the 157? Perfect, 437. 437, just to advise, I'm giving verbal commands on my PA. Driver's not, not listening. Driver, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands, driver. I can hear. See, the cop is is starting to get worried, and and now he's escalated it because he's pulled out his gun. Driver, let me see your hands. I'm going to be giving verbal commands at this time. Driver is not cooperating. Driver, open the door. Let me see your hands. Open the door with your left hand. Left hand only. Four through seven, still giving verbal commands, not getting answers. As I repeat, both windows are covered with some sort of blankets or sheets. It will be a felony stop at this time. So when he talks about a felony stop, that means he's got his gun out. That means uh, he's intending to arrest him. But what's the felony at this point? There is no felony. Let me see your hands. Hablas inglés o español? ¿Dónde están las manos? Driver, can you not listen to me? Let me see your hands. Take out your hands. Open the door. Let me see your hands. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You need to come out. I can't hear you. I can. I can hear you. Okay. Go ahead and open your you open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. Open the door right now. You got to be careful because the wrong cop can, uh, you know, all of a sudden go off on you. And I've seen that happen multiple, multiple times. Ma'am, I can't hear you. Open the door right now. I can't see through your window. Both windows are covered. It's for your safety and my safety. Open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. You need to apply to this commands. I don't need to arrest you for not listening, for impeding an investigation. You can't listen. You can't arrest somebody for not listening. <laughs> Just, uh, not listening is not an offense. Failure to obey a lawful command, though, is. But it's usually a misdemeanor. With your left hand, open your door. All right, you're going to be arrested, man. I'm telling you. 4 through 7, so calm. It appears to be a female uh, stuck out her left hand. She's uh, she's flipping me off at this time, and she's just yelling. I can't hear her. I can't hear what's... You know, flipping cops off is never a winning argument. And when you get to court, and one of the things that the judge reads is that you flip the cop off, it's never a good plan. Just trying to communicate with me. Let me see your hands, ma'am. You need to come out to me, to the sound of my voice. Open up that door and you need to come to the sound of my voice, ma'am. Force will be used. Thank you. Go ahead and step out. Step out of the vehicle right now. You're going to be under arrest. Step out of the vehicle right now. 437, so um, door was open at this time. Still can't see the driver. Listen to my commands, ma'am. Step out right now. Step out right now. I can't. So you got a lot of things going on. You got you got your a major freeway, and so that's a safety concern. So the officers on this side, you got her getting out or attempted to get out, and the cops, and, and he got these windows covered with blankets or sheets or whatever, which makes it really odd for the officer. So the officer is just totally freaked out about his safety right now. Let's see inside your vehicle. Go ahead and step out. Step out. You got lethal? I can see him. I got less lethal, bro. Tenfold. Yeah, she's not following commands. She finally opened the door, dude. She's not, she's not listening. 
And I can't see, I can't see through these windows right here. Through no, none of the windows. Let me see your hands. So at some point, you know, they have a force continuum. You know, and the force continuum says you start with verbal. Um, then you uh, escalate to hands-on. Then you escalate to armed response, you know, either a baton or a firearm. And, you know, so and, – but and everything in between. And so – that's one of the things that's in the back of the mind of the officers, or should be anyway, when they determine how much force to be used. So if he's telling her, we're going to pull you out of your car, he's not kidding. Here's a picture of me wearing my step ones just before a race. Now, you need to get some of these because, number one, there's no sweat. Because it's made out of this viscose material that's derived from organic bamboo. Second, there's no chafe. you got this lycra panel down here. And it's really really comfortable your package is all nestled like it should be in a nice pouch and you hardly even know that you're wearing them i wear them all the time when i work out i wear i wear them when i ski i wear them right now i'm wearing them right now so step one a very amazing product and make sure you go to the link below and get a few pair get a dozen pair whatever just get a couple try them out if you don't like them you get a 30-day money-back guarantee but you're not going to do that because you're going to fall in love with these things and you're going to replace all your underwear with these. So as you check out, make sure you put Bruce Rivers in the promo code and you will get 25% off. So step one, a very amazing product. I use them. You should too. Step one, get some. Good. I'm going to make contact on this side. Let me see your hands right now. Let me see your hands. Step out. Okay, step out. Step Get ahead and step out. Step out. Who else is in the vehicle? Bring down the windows. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Stop. Who else is in here? My daughter. And You're not listening, ma'am. I'm telling listening. you. I told you to open up. Come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To. Open and up I this don't window. Have to. No, come here. And I she, don't have just chair's a daughter. Hold on, bro. Just come out. Come here, ma'am. Just stop resisting. Stop no, resisting. Hold on, baby. I'll be right with you. No, Let me know, ma'am. I'm giving you commands, okay? Stand by right now. I'm going to talk to your daughter. Hey, so at this point, it's really unknown as to why she's being like this. You do. You're, you're going 94. You're going 94 on a 60, on a 65. Are you intoxicated right now? Hey, um, what's you need to relax. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you cooperating? What's wrong with you? She's intoxicated. Is this really, is this really worth it? Is this really worth it? Let go of my handcuffs. Ma'am, what do you think this is, ma'am? What's wrong with you? You have a small daughter in the vehicle. What's wrong with you? you guys are okay, what's wrong with you? All right. All right, so that's an aggravating factor. You got, you got a couple things going on here. So, number one, she's pulled over some minor traffic infraction. She probably is drunk or under the influence. That's why uh, she's probably not wanting to get out of the car and then and then when she does they finally get her out of the car she's obstructing you know you can obstruct two ways one you without with or without force basically and you can res obstruct with your words or you can obstruct uh you know by being resisting to the officer she appears to be intoxicated broke his mouth don't resist ma'am ah. don't resist Stop. And to what end is this kind of shit? This is what happens when you wind up laying on, on the ground, face down, with your face in the gravel that the cops, you know. It just doesn't make sense to me why she's resisting. But when people are drunk, they do shit that doesn't make sense. Quit resisting. Just stop resisting, ma'am. This isn't worth it, all right? You're getting more charges at it, right? Put jam behind your back. Clip this one here. I'm not resisting. Alright. Gonna stand over here. Can't believe you think this is funny, man. You have your daughter there, man. And if you are drunk and have your kid in the car, that aggravates the DWI. I can't believe you think this is funny. This isn't funny. Unlock roof. You run out of your place under arrest, okay, for resisting. How, how much have you had to drink today? Huh? Alright. Gonna come in here. No, you guys are so embarrassed. 
Okay. Stop. I don't have to go in there. Are you drunk? You're under arrest right now. No, I'm not drunk and I don't have to go in there. Get in there I right do now. Not. Says who? Here, I got I got pepper spray, bro. I got pepper spray. Get in there. Get in there right now. You don't want the you know, the cops don't want to pepper spray her right there because guess what it goes into their fucking vehicle and you try to breathe that shit in if you ever if you ever breathe mason or especially police mace which is a little bit stronger i mean it's not a fun proposition fucking pepper spray get in, yourself get in. I'm not stupid. get in right now man get in right now i'm gonna use a taser get in right now get in there right now get in there right now Get in there right now. Get in there right now or I'm going to go ahead and use it again. Sit down. Ma'am, get in the vehicle. Sit down right now. Sit down in there. Not gonna run Sit down in there. Get in the vehicle. Sit down. What's wrong with you? Get in the vehicle. What's wrong with you? I'm about to dress on you again, ma'am. Nothing is wrong. Sit down right now. Sit down. Go inside. Go inside. Get inside right now. Inside the vehicle. Get inside now. Again. Listen to my commands. My daughter is right okay. Hey, stop. Okay, get inside the vehicle. Put your feet in. Put your feet inside the vehicle. This is pretty insufferable. I don't know why she's doing this. I do, because she's drunk. Or high. Put her feet in there, bro. That is enough. Hey, relax, relax right now. Relax, okay? You're not following commands. You're drinking right now, okay? You, you shouldn't be drinking and driving. Them. You could see both of them, and you know that you could. All right. You could see both of them, couldn't you? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, because you're not going to answer because you know that you could. I couldn't see anything. I'm on this side. I'm giving you commands. Okay. Are you okay? What's going on? Are you okay? Well, explain here in a bit. Just stay in there because there's traffic out here, okay? I'm gonna ask you something, okay? Would you want to provide a, uh, a breath no, test, breath example? Okay, now if you refuse, you can refuse on the road and it's generally not a crime, depending upon your jurisdiction. But if you refuse once they get you to the station, that's a crime. And usually it's an elevated crime more than just your standard DWI. No? I don't have to. What's happening? Or in some jurisdictions like Wisconsin, they'll strap you to a gurney and they'll for, and they'll take your blood against your will. You know, they need a warrant to do that, but uh, but they can do a forced blood draw. You, you want to go to my patrol car? Yes, come on. And how fucking scary for a kid, you know, to watch their mom getting taken away in handcuffs. Make better decisions. Come here, sweetie. Let's go this way. Where are you coming from right now, man? All right. Are we going to back to my house? We'll let you know here in a bit, okay? That's a good question. What happens to mom if the child gets taken into custody? If there's no other relatives or anybody they can give the kids to, and then she goes to a shelter or, you know, a juvie. Okay. I'm just going to put you in here because I have, I have AC in there, okay? That way it's not too hot. Go ahead and have a seat, Sue. I hope your daughter dies. You hope my daughter dies? Yep, I do. Thank you. I hope your daughter dies. What the fuck? Why, why, why would you say that? How does that benefit you? So just pay attention. I'm about to read I'm some stuff, okay? Gonna I'm just going to read you your rights. Hurry up. <clears throat> All right, so... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You can. Uh, you have the right to a lawyer and to be present during questioning. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed for you. Shut the fuck up. Remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against in court. You have the right to consult oh, with an attorney. My daughter's to have an attorney you present during the to... questioning. My permission. If you guys can go her. check on the daughter, bro, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does he have already? Okay. Cool. All right. So if you cannot afford an attorney, one can be provided to you before questioning at no cost. Do you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, would you speak to me? Would you wish to speak to me now? Oh. Sun's going down. You know, these things always take so damn long. Alrighty. First of all, look how fucking messy your car is. That drives me absolutely nuts. 
you know, if I have if I have an empty Coke can or something like that, I, I get rid of it right away. I hate, hate, hate a mess. A mess. Okay, I guess a little white claw this afternoon. Uh oh, there we go. That's she just finds a uh, cop finds a gun in the front seat. Now is she eligible? So if you have a prior felony or a prior uh, qualified domestic uh, offense, you federally and statewide, most jurisdictions, you can't possess a firearm. Uh, give me one second, sweetie, okay? Give me one second. Yes. You know, one can argue, oh, the cops are being heavy-handed, blah, blah, blah. But see why they do what they do sometimes? And I'm not a huge, you know, backer of cops, although, you know, people ask me all the time, oh, you must be a criminal defense lawyer, you must hate cops. Fuck no, I love cops. They take guys off the street so I can put them right back on. But... They have a difficult job, and if you, you know, if she had had that gun in her hand, it, the whole thing could have been a lot different. She is in trouble. I got my hands in the front. Step up. Why'd you put them in the front? Because Stand right there. Where'd you pee? Oh, all there and then all the way to the... Like I said, cops have a difficult job. And you get people that shit and piss in your fucking car. They they uh, throw up in your car. You know, I used to drive an ambulance, and those are the things that I just couldn't take. I couldn't take throw up. I could, I could take the blood. That wasn't a big deal. But, like, shit, piss, and, and uh, throw up. Ugh. Put that on there. What an asshole. Why is she being such an asshole? Well, let me see. Stand right there. Don't move. Go this way. Go this way. That's what I'm doing. Walk. Calm down. Walk. You're to clean it, huh? So now, what do we have? We've got a firearm. We've got a kid in the car. We've got an alcohol on board, so she's intoxicated. Now she just pisses in the guy's fucking squad car. What a pain in the ass she is. You said I was gonna have to, but it's gonna be you. Don't you feel really proud of yourself? Ooh, I should. So she's charged with driving while intoxicated with a minor, an aggravated offense, abuse of a child, being, you know, all the same, a DWI refusal, negligent use of a deadly weapon, in other words, being intoxicated, speeding over by 16 to 20 miles per hour over, concealing identity, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. All what? What's wrong? Oh, God. And, you know, when you see this body cam, you know, the prosecutor's going to get up and, and tell the judge what a pain in the ass she's been. And the defense lawyer will do, this is what you do. You get a case like this and you tell her to go get into uh, therapy, not therapy, but get a, an evaluation, chemical health evaluation. Um, they recommend a class or if they recommend um, treatment, then you, you got got to get got to go do that. And because if you don't, guess what happens? Um, the court's going to order you to do it anyway. And if you don't do that, then you go to jail. So it just seems to me that, you know, she's what the fuck she's doing with a gun in the car with a kid and being drunk? That's that's really elevates. And then she's subtracting the cops on top of that. So this is what not to do in in uh, in your daily life. If you're gonna drink when you have a kid, first of all, if you have a small child like this, you should never really get shit faced, regardless of what your situation is, because like. If you're like, even if your child is someplace else and you're not caring for the child in the moment, you could get a call that you would have to go care for that child. And if all of a sudden you can't, then you you're not being a parent. But driving drunk with a kid in the car is a no no. So make better plans. Don't get shit faced with your children and don't fight fight with the cops. Just my 
advice on this one. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Acts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Sign up for Patreon, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23-hour lockdown, please, is that my goal?